Hi, I'm Yasmin Hussein, and welcome to another Motoring News Roundup. Porsche has unveiled a high-performance GTS version of the Boxster. Fitted with the Porsche Sport Chrono package and active suspension management as standard, the GTS also features a new front spoiler, a restyled lower apron and black 20-inch Carrera S alloys. An uprated 3.4-litre engine adds an extra 15 bhp and, when teamed with launch control, this propels the two-seater from 0 to 62 in 4.7 seconds and onto a top speed of 174 miles per hour. Prices for the Boxster GTS start at £52,879 on the road. Hyundai has received two Red Dot Product Design Awards for the Genesis and the new i10 Super Mini. The internationally acclaimed awards recognise aesthetic form, innovation and groundbreaking ideas. Hyundai's premium saloon, the Genesis, is designed primarily for the American and Korean markets, but it will also be sold in limited numbers in the UK. Powered by a 3.8-litre V6 engine, prices for the Genesis have yet to be confirmed, but expect it to cost considerably more than the i10, which starts at £8,345 on the road. Toyota has released a short video highlighting the new iGo's many customization options. The compact hatchback features brake lines, which create a distinctive frontal X graphic treatment. Spreading across the bodywork, they link the key external features, including the grille, headlamps, mirrors, roof, and wheels, all of which can be customized. On the inside, air vent surrounds and trim can also be swapped out at an affordable price, says Toyota. Powered by a 1-litre engine, the new iGo is set to go on sale in the summer. Italian design house Bertoni is on the verge of extinction. The company, known for penning some beautiful one-off concepts such as the Aston Martin shooting brake seen here, has entered into bankruptcy proceedings, but not for the first time. Six ultra-rare Bertoni prototypes were sold at auction in 2011 to raise cash for its debtors including a 1967 Lamborghini Marzal and a 1970 Lancia Stratos HF0. The company is facing legal action for debts owed to suppliers, with employees sent home without pay. Alfa Romeo has confirmed the 4C Spider is set for production next year. Carbon fibre has been used for the Spider's rollover bars and spoilers, as well as for the monocoque structure, to keep the roaster's weight to a minimum. Even the rear screen has been fabricated in a lightweight sheet moulding compound material. The Spider is powered by the same four-cylinder turbo petrol engine as the Coupe, but a dual-stage central exhaust system and unique headlights are first on the soft top. Pricing for the Alpha 4C Spider has yet to be confirmed. Seat invited two fans of the new Leon Cupra to experience a state-of-the-art extreme simulator ride. Or so they thought. Once seated in the blacked-out car, things weren't quite as they seemed as the road-going Cupra was sneaked out of the fake simulator and onto the tarmac. The high-speed chase around an industrial estate was beamed live to the unsuspecting passengers via LCD screens and then, as the doors were opened, the confused pair emerged to find that their virtual ride had actually been the real thing. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out next week's edition for more motoring news.